hello, my name is Paula. I'm a graphic designer at Falk. And um, today I'll present you with my um, final master's project, which is about artificial intelligence and human neurodevelopment. And it's called Thesis. Last summer, I read a book called, called The Curious Incident at the Dock in the Nighttime. And I got really interested about um, this character called Christopher. The book was narrated in first person from an autistic perspective. So I started investigation, investigating about that and especially about Asperger syndrome, which was formulated by, by Hans Asperger in 1940 and which was a developmental disorder observed in boys with normal intelligence and comprised under the autistic spectrum. So some facts were that the data gathered from uh, was taken from male individuals and that led to these consequences, which were that females and non-binary were left um, with less chances to be diagnosed and actually from every four males, there's just one autistic woman. So my first finding was that data gathered in clinical environments was gender biased. So I kept investigating about it and I found out that, that um, well, Asperger traits um, were this. So um, they were very good at analyzing, had special interest, enjoyed thinking, um, seek balance, avoided eye contact. Um, had unique interests, were hypersensitive, or mimic be behaviors. And I actually um, focused my, myself on this one. Um, so I, well, I learned that there were these two concepts, which were neurotypicality and neurodiversity, understanding the first one as a typical neuronal development, and the second one as uh, having differences in brain development. And I saw that the, the way that they related to each other was uh, that neurodiversity copied neurotypicality. And that actually reminded me of the way artificial intelligence works, which is um, being fed by neurotypical data. So I put the, th the three players that I had, um, and I saw that the, the way that they were relating to each other was like this. So neurodiversity and artificial intelligence was copying neurotypicality. And I thought, well, what if we leave neurotypicality um, behind and we make artificial intelligence um, to be fed by neurodiverse data? So my hypothesis was that feeding artificial intelligence with neurodiverse databases could lead to having more inclusive technologies. So I, I made an analysis about, um, about intelligent virtual assistants. And um, I, I analyzed the appearance and the behavior. And, um, and well, I, I saw that um, Mariana Lin had done a, a previous investigation and that there were three ways to, 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 well, to study that. So there was the safe path, um, which, which um, is a, a measure that enterprises take in order to avoid having, for example, Nazi chatbots, then the customizable path, which is having intelligent virtual assistants that um, can be like fully customized. And then, um, well, doing intelligent virtual assistants with closed personality traits. So I decided that I was gonna focus on that. And then I asked myself, uh, why would people benefit from having a neurodiverse personality? And basically that was because the functional conversations that you have nowadays with um, chatbots are not that inspiring. So I started building thesis and um, I created um, this agent with Dialogflow, which is a program by Google. And well, I created the system persona, which is a design tool to help direct conversations. I used Google's guidelines and I came up with thesis, an intelligent virtual assistant with Asperger's syndrome. So um, I built this data set. Um, I contacted Carmen Molina, Molina, which was the president of CEPAM, the Autistic Women um, Spain Association. And I divided my data set into four sections. First, data for, taken from um, Asperger individuals, then from fictional Aspergers, then um, the, uh, including information about women, and then about AI. And actually, um, there's there's a chatbot that you can speak to and that answers like questions related to that. Um, it can be contacted either from Google or um, from Slack or uh, Telegram, and. Yeah, you can really like chat with this agent and and well get responses. So well, the scope of the project was to confront the adoption of, um, of nor the adoption of normative ideas of normality. And while this is based on Asperger, it could be implemented in other neurodevelopmental conditions such as um, speech disorder, obsessive compulsive disorders, etc. 
So I'd like to finish with these three questions. Why is this a woman, a female? Because she wants to give visibility to us to see women who are invisibilized because they are women and because they are neurodiverse. Why is it important to give visibility to Asperger women? Because um, well, it, that will increase their overall greater well-being. And why is this important for society? Because as a project, it gives importance to people with diverse neural conditions and it proposes more inclusive interactions between humans and machines. Neurodiverse people make life interactions interesting, they create friction between individuals, and they ultimately make societies richer. And that's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>